Hi, I'm Dustin Casto of HomeNetworkGuy.com and welcome to my first official video. In this video, I plan to give a quick tour of my server closet, which is behind me, which has my server rack and most of my uh, networking and server equipment is in this closet. So without further ado, let's go inside and take a look. As you're walking in my server closet, you'll see that I have a personnel only sign, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, down below, I actually have a vent that passes through the wall to give extra airflow into my server closet. As you're walking into my server closet, you'll notice I have a full height 42U rack that I'm going to pan down so you can see all the devices that are in the rack. I'll discuss what each of these devices are briefly as we continue through this quick tour. Off to the left, I have a monitor that's mounted to the wall, as well as a shelf where I can set a mouse and keyboard and have a little standing desk. And I have a little KVM switch to the right that I can actually access all my systems with. Up high, I have a, an exhaust fan mounted up in the ceiling that's connected to my return air duct in the, in the next room. And it's controlled by this thermostat on the wall. It's an AC Infinity duct fan, which is nice. Um, as you can see up high, I have uh, two conduits of wire for my whole entire house. And I, have, I actually ran an extra 10 feet of wire or so, so that I can pull that server rack out and get behind it to be able to maintain it. Up high, you'll see that I have two modular patch panels and um, that I can connect from the front or behind. I have three TP-Link switches. I've added switches over time as I've needed more ports for my network. I like to have them all connected so I can light up any port on any network that I want. Um, down below here, you'll see I have an Amcrest NVR box for all my IP cameras, and above that is an HD home run for my live TV um, cable. To the right is a Protectly VP2410 I use as my OpenSense firewall. And down below that, I have my cable modem, Netgear cable modem, so I don't have to rent a modem. And uh, sitting behind that box, I actually have a Protectly UPS to, for my um, firewall box. And to the left of that, I actually have a little Raspberry Pi computer that actually acts as an outdoor speaker um, uh, system. And so uh, you can see I have a hat on top of the speaker wires coming out. Um, this is a USB backup hard drive that I have uh, attached to my TrueNAS box down below. And this is my Proxmox server. I run all my VMs and containers off of it. Um, I used to have my data storage on my Proxmox box, but then I eventually decided to build a TrueNAS server down below here, um, which is nice to have a dedicated uh, place to have uh, you know, reliable storage. Uh, I really enjoy uh, having that separated right now. Uh, this is a 3U um, drawer that you can have to extra storage, which is pretty nice, but that'd be one of the first things that goes if I need to expand. Uh, this is a, my Proxmox backup server, and it's nice to have like snapshots of all my VMs and containers and get back up and running really quickly. Behind that, I have a 1U uh, power strip that kind of contains some of the wiring mess back there a little bit and have a place for it, all of it. And down at the very bottom, I have my UPS, um, which is the trip light, you know, 2U UPS. Um, so I put the that down there, so if it ever leaks or has any problems, then it won't mess up any of my other equipment. And that's a brief tour of my server rack. I hope you guys enjoy.